Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we received a new hotfix for the new beta 1.5.0 patch. So we received the uh, 1.5.0 patch yesterday. Um, it has a lot of uh, new stuff, especially, um, what's it called? Especially UI and uh, formations for single player, and for multiplayer, just overall huge changes. We got new maps, overhaul to the units, the weapons, and all of that, right? But uh, today we did get a hotfix for that uh, same patch. It has a lot of good changes in my opinion, a lot of crash fixes and bug fixes, and it's in a good timely manner. It's also 2.4 gigabytes, which is pretty big for a hotfix. But uh, the link to this hotfix announcement will be down below if you want to read it for yourself. Also, I did a review on the new uh, 1.5.0 beta patch. I'm going to link that down below as well if you did miss it. And always, I have a um, script that's going to be on the screen right now. Everything that I say, all the links and everything will be uh, down below as well. So here are the changes. First, fix the missing shader issues. This will fix the long uh, loading screens and eventual freeze uh, and or crash after it. So I had a big problem with this yesterday while recording my uh, review. I have a couple of review videos on the 1.5.0 beta patch and I had a lot of problems because there was extremely long loading screens, especially when you did any type of battle. But uh, hopefully this is fixed now. Next, they have us fix the bug that caused a crash while preparing tooltips for villages in the town management pop-up. Also, I did crash on this as well, so uh, good to see another crash fix that was fixed, and I'm pretty sure it was affecting a lot of people. Uh, next, they have fix the issue with the matchmaker that forced everyone to play on EU servers for a while. Sorry for the inconvenience, the dev state. Um, so I am going to play multiplayer today. Good thing that this was fixed before I started playing. But yeah, um, I'm pretty much going to do a multiplayer overview of all the changes uh, sometime later today, maybe tomorrow. But I am going to play multiplayer today after I make this video. So uh, hopefully it's gotten better after the hotfix. Next, we have fixed a bug that caused expand tooltip uh, slash the alt key to not work properly in certain situations. I didn't notice this one, but it's good that it is fixed because I do use it a lot. Next, we have a fix an issue that caused the left mouse click to be assigned whenever the player tried to rebind a key. So this is a problem we had actually for like, uh, I would say like a month at this point, maybe a month, maybe two. And I know some people have had it since the start, where wherever you're trying to rebind something, it would automatically go to the left mouse uh, click. But uh, it's good to actually see this fix. This has actually been a problem for a while. So uh, good fix overall. Next, we have a fix an issue with an unverified DLL caution pop-up. So I personally did not get this, but if someone did and uh, they did report it, it's good to see it fixed. Next, we have the create a pre-made game button is now enabled uh, correctly. Again, another multiplayer fix, good to see because I'm obviously going to play multiplayer today and check it out. Uh, next, we have various world map uh, navigation mesh errors have been fixed. So they add a lot of different um, re-render meshes and stuff of that nature to the new 1.5.0 beta patch. I'm guessing there were some problems with it, but uh, it's good to see them fixed. Next, they have they added the missing loading images uh, to the two new skirmisher maps. So I'm guessing the two new skirmisher maps in multiplayer, they didn't have their loading images. Now they do. Again, good to see because, you know, obviously I want to try out multiplayer today. Next, it was uh, added a deleted uh, Batanian armor and shoulder piece. So a couple people on Reddit, they have put up that some of the shoulder, I mean, so that some of the armors look kind of weird and... Um, What's it called? They just don't look how they're supposed to. So I think this is what they mean by this, that then now that they added it back, so it kind of looks like how it's actually supposed to look. So uh, it's a good fix to see. Next, we have fix the issue with being um, fix the issue with being able to uh, equip a bill hook as a one-handed weapon. So I'm guessing that has to do with this has to do with multiplayer or single player. I don't know what the bill hook is actually, but um, again. Good to see. I'm guessing it was a two-handed weapon and you can equip it as a one-handed, but now that it's fixed. Next we have is white spaces can now be used in clan names. Good. More customization. Always good to see in my opinion. Next we have is UI fixes for the clan tab on the multiplayer lobby. Again, multiplayer changes. Good to see. I want to try it out. I want to have a good experience. So it's good to see that a lot of uh, issues were fixed the next day after the patch is out. Next we have is uh, fixes and improvements to the formation AI behaviors. So uh, yesterday we received like a formation overhaul, in my opinion, and that's kind of what the dev stated as well in the new beta 1.5.0. So obviously there was probably some bugs with it, but um, you know, it's kind of a vague statement, but they did say that they fixed it and improved a little bit more. So uh, good to hear. 
Next, we have some Chinese localization fixes. Go to here for Chinese players. Uh, next, we have is fix the issues of randomly disconnecting from the lobby while playing multiplayer. Again, a good fix because, you know, I, I want to have a good time today in multiplayer. So, uh, good to see that this was fixed. And if people were having problems, hopefully this is fixed now. So, that's pretty much all the changes and fixes for this hot fix. Uh, lastly, I'm going to end this video in the same way in most of my update, um, most of my update and hot fix videos. I want to thank the developers for staying active and bringing good changes. We can probably expect another hot fix um, either tomorrow or probably Monday, somewhere around there. Plus, they said that modding tools are coming by the end of the month. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get that as well. But uh, hopefully this video was informative and like always, stay safe.